Deborah Cornavaca, Governor Murphy's Chief of Staff here for opening remarks. Deborah, thank you. Dustin. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a true honor to be here. I think for purposes of the record, though, I'd like to clarify that I'm Deputy Chief of Staff and I serve under the pleasure of Governor Murphy and George Helmy, Chief of Staff. We are thrilled to be here today to celebrate Economic Development Day and to honor the work that you and um, do together to stimulate economic growth, activity, employment, uh, ingenuity, and innovation. And if I might, uh, the governor has asked me to bring a special message for Doobie Hone. So if you would indulge me, I will be reading a proclamation the governor has prepared for him. Whereas Doobie Honig is recognized for his tireless work, dedication, and steadfast commitment to the success, wellness, growth, and development of New Jersey's business and Garden State community as a whole, and whereas Doobie Honig is an energetic and visionary entrepreneur who is devoted to ensuring diverse business opportunities and services that serve to enhance commerce, education, and job creation throughout New Jersey and beyond, and whereas Duvi Honig is the founder and CEO of the Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce, a global umbrella of diverse businesses of all sizes, where its members and the broader community are empowered and supported throughout various businesses, professions, and community networking opportunities, initiatives, tools, and services. And whereas Duvi Honig has built a world-class network focused on the prospect of advancing professional and business growth, innovation, and commerce, by providing chamber members, businesses, and community-based organizations with resources and tools that include connecting them with professional guidance, services, and opportunities. And whereas each year, the annual JBiz and Business Conference, the chamber's flagship project and wide-ranging business-to-business networking event hailed as the largest of its kind, attracts hundreds of businesses, participants, and attendees from around the world. And whereas Doobie Honig has been instrumental in promoting collaborative strategies, initiatives, and programs that serve to strengthen commerce and economic development. And whereas Doobie Honig's work and visionary approach to fostering commerce and economic development has been recognized by leading businesses, community, and bipartisan groups as invaluable contributions to our global community. And whereas Doobie Honig inspired and envisioned the empowerment of a designated economic development day, and whereas in the state of New Jersey, the second Monday in May is recognized as New Jersey's Economic Development Day, whereas as Governor I commend Duvi Honig for his endless support and far-reaching contributions to New Jersey economic, social, and cultural fabric and our greatest society, now therefore I, Philip D. Murphy, Governor of the state of New Jersey, do hereby recognize Duvi Honig for his dedication and commitment to the success, strengthening, and advancement of economic development in New Jersey. Signed by Governor Murphy. Okay. I'm going to take a quick picture. Um, Lyle, if you can come up. Okay, very good. Thank you, everyone. Congressman Andrew Kim is here today. Thank you, Congressman. Also, from day one, he speaks at our COBA events, he helps us, he leads us, drives tourism business in our county for many years, and he's uh, just all about everything and started in Roots of Education, and that's Commissioner Director Joe Vicari. And at the end, we have um, the mayor of this great town of South Tom's River is Mayor Greg Hanshi. And Greg has been involved with COVID, supporting local business for many years. Mayor Greg, thank you. Okay, next we have a gentleman that inputted a, inputted a system. He's the CEO of Municipal Cards, LLC. You have to learn about this system. You have to meet him and speak to him. Is Ellie Weingarten. Okay, so we're going to start the panel. I have a